Hello there, this is a quick video to show you um, the AI search engine which I've made uh, which you're welcome to use yourself or if you're interested you can make your own. Okay, so I made it using the free tool maker um, on our site, skillfusion.ai, so you can use it to make your own, which might, if you want it to work in a different way, um, or, or obviously any other AI tool that you're interested in. Um, so I'll show you how it works. The way I wanted my one to work is I wanted the AI to answer the question first, and then I wanted it to go to Google and kind of fact check its answer and let me know if it found anything um, that I've supported or disagreed with its original answer. Um, so interesting fact I heard the other day. Did Andre the Giant really drink 100 beers in one sitting? So um, the tool maker, as you can probably tell, is like a kind of blocked based build as it goes through these blocks. Um, it answers it, obviously the typical very safe AI answer. So it uses ChatGPT and it uses Google as the search engine, both through the APIs. Um, so yeah, answers the question itself, then it will come up with a search term. Um, it searches Google for that search term. Um, Google, this is our Google block. It comes back with the first 20 results from Google. Then the AI will choose three of those pages. Um, so it's pick these three that, that it thinks look the most relevant to the search term. Um, it scrapes the content from those pages. Um, it can't scrape every page, so some sites block scraping. Um, Amazon and Twitter, some of the big ones, but most sites yeah, it's able to get the content. Um, the AI will read through that content and then we'll come back and let you know um, what it found basically. So they found someone saying it had 156 <laughs> beers in one go, which is crazy. Um, yeah, and then so it's answered the question and then it's giving you the information there. So that's usually probably enough. So you've kind of fact checked it or um, like if you ask it to recommend health supplements, it'll recommend some, but then it'll come back with a bunch more that it found and additional stuff and things like that. So it's quite a comprehensive way to answer it. And I think you get better quality answers than if you let the AI use the internet straight away because you kind of get two opinions, the AI's initial opinion and then the, the adjusted one. Um, you do have the option here to then get the AI to update its original answer if you want to. So it's got to take on board the new information and answer it again. That's quite useful if it comes back with a lot and you, you, know, you don't want to read through it all. Um, so it's, it's, that's its kind of final updated answer. And then here it goes into a little chat mode. So if you want to carry on talking to it, um, what else? Because it's got that information in memory still that it's kind of scraped from those websites. Um, so you carry on with that. And obviously this will be useful if you need up-to-date information on any searches. So if you search for something to do like whether you're trading Bitcoin or news or whatever, um, obviously it will tell you it doesn't know usually and then it'll go scrape the info and then it'll give you the kind of it'll search those web pages for the useful info. Here you go, so a bit more on the sources. And um, this is like a loop to just the way the tool works. So um answers the question, then you go in, put in another question, carry on chatting. Um, and it'll let you carry on chatting away until it reaches the limit for this model. So this is the twelve thousand word version um of GPT three point five. And then yeah, once you finish, you just go back and, and do another search at the top. So it's um I've been using this instead of Google. <laughs> um I even though I mostly use chat GPT instead of Google anyway these days. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works. If you want to make your own version that's a bit different or any other AI tool, um, if it's your tool, then you'll have access to the kind of this the block-based build. This is how you build it, basically. So it's, it's all using blocks. So it's this block's the user question, which is where you put in your search term. Uh, this block is the prompt block, so where you talk to the AI and so on and so on. And basically, um, if I was wanted, I'll show you a blank one because I don't want <laughs> to go over that one. But yeah, this is how the, the tool maker works. So you just choose the type of block you want. At um, the moment, we have user questions, prompts to talk to the AI, um, processing for like splitting lists up, um, draw images. If you want a tool, draws images, a download at the end if it's producing like a lot of content. Uh, Zapier, if you want your tool to you know, send stuff off to where, whatever, you know, 6,000 different apps that Zapier linked to, like your Gmail and Google Sheets, um, embeddings for storing and searching through knowledge, if you know about embeddings. Um, if else, so that's like a logic one. If you want it to kind of move around to different blocks, depending on people's answers. Obviously, the, the two for the Google one, the Google search, which retains Google results, um, and you ask the AI to pick a couple, and then the scraper block that will, will scrape those URLs. So, yeah, you can make a lot of tools with these. Um, or if you just want to try it, use my one instead. Also, doesn't have ads on there, <laughs> like actual Google. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's this one here for the AI search engine. Um, we've got lots of other tools on the site too. So, yeah, happy searching. Hope you find it useful.